Autumn this year has been unusually warm. Being dressed in a shirt like this on a November afternoon is an experience never existed in my memory. In fact, not even in the memory of the oldest resident of the village. Well, he's 94 this year. To put it simply, we have just had the warmest and the driest year in a century in this part of China. It's been four weeks since we last airlocked the cavevery for the slow process of malolactic fermentation. And today we're going to open the lids and see how miracles have worked on my wine. In my experience, this is the most thrilling moment in winemaking. It's somewhat like opening the lottery. Sometimes you get lucky. Oh, <laughs> 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 But other times, things don't turn out as you wish. This film of frost on the surface means spoilage. That's the whole lot of the contents has gone ruined. The snowflakes symptom is what we call flowers of the wine, often caused by a particular type of wild yeast called the mycoderma. Given that I'm making wine relying entirely on natural wild yeast, the wine flower has been my chief challenge every autumn. Unlike the wine yeast, which works best without oxygen, the wine flower yeast is oxybiotic, which needs plenty of oxygen to develop. The wine flower infested cavevery is the victim of my overstretching ambition during the alcoholic fermentation process, which went through two weeks as an experiment. And every day air was punched in. Apparently there had been way too much air than required. On the contrary, the cavalry which had air punched in only for a week turned out beautifully. Wow. But you never know until the moment when you finally open the lid. I suppose it was the unusual heat in this autumn that the alcoholic fermentation stage didn't really require so many days of punch down the air.
After being pressed out of the pumice, the still murky wine is stored again in the cavalry to settle and age. It might take three months time or longer. In some cases, the wine might sleep underground for two to three years. The next time when we open the lid again, we expect to see a crystal clear wine with the most charming ruby color. It should both taste and smell delicious. I'm still feeling regretful about the wine flower spoiled bulk. You have only one chance to try one thing each year. The art of winemaking is really the art of having too much or too little air. With wild yeast engaged in, nothing is certain until the last moment. Strangely enough though, that is precisely the excitement of the game.